Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the Java 8 and infinite streams. So in previous series of video tutorials, we have discussed about the streams API. And in this video tutorial, basically we are going to discuss about the infinite streams. Now let's have an overview on infinite stream. In this video, basically we will be looking into the Java dot util dot stream api and we'll see how we can use construct to operate an infinite stream of data or elements the possibility of working on the infinite sequence of elements is predicted on the fact that streams are built to be lazy this laziness is achieved by the separation between two types of operation that could be executed on streams and first type of operation is called intermediate and second type is terminal operation and these things already we have discussed in previous video now what is again again I'm going to discuss is intermediate and terminal operation all stream operations are divided into intermediate and terminal operation and are combined to form stream pipelines a uh, stream pipeline consists of a source and source may be a collection an array generator function and IO channel or infinite sequence generator uh, followed by the zero or more intermediate operations and finally we have a terminal operation now let's talk about the intermediate operations intermediate operations are not executed until some terminal operation is invoked they are composed forming a pipeline of a stream execution the intermediate operations can be added to a stream pipeline by method uh, intermediate operations if you want to perform then these are the methods basically used to perform intermediate operations like filter map flat map distinct sorted peak limit uh, 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 skip these are the basically important measures there are many more but these are the important one so in previous video series already we have seen how we can make use of the filter map flat map distinct uh, and uh, next series of video tutorial will talk about the how sorted peak limit and skip box so all intermediate operations are lazy so they are not executed until a result of processing is actually needed so basically intermediate operations returns a new stream itself executing on an intermediate operation does not ac actually perform any operation but instead creates a new stream itself and that when traverse contains the elements of the initial stream that match the given predicate okay when you traverse the stream and you provide the predicate right and given predicate gets matched then you are able to traverse the stream also as such tra traversal of the stream does not begin until the terminal operation of the pipeline is executed this is very important property specifically important for infinite streams because it allows us to create a streams that will be actually involved in sorry invoked only when the terminal operation is called so your stream is infinite and until unless you do not call any fine any uh, terminal operations right and your st uh, i mean stream is finite then uh, infinite then you will have to uh, limit it by calling some api else that will be uh, executed in indefinitely so that that's why i'm trying to say over here now let's talk about the terminal operations so basically terminal operations may traverse the stream to produce a result after the terminal operation is performed the stream pipeline is considered as consumed and it can no longer be used so once you consume the once you call the terminal operation on any stream then that is assumed as a consumed one and after that you can you cannot use that stream again so that already we have seen in the previous video series in almost all the cases terminal operations are eager so when I say terminal operations are eager, so once you call the terminal operations, then uh, execution of stream will be done. Uh, 
completing their traversal of the data source and processing of the pipeline before returning. So the eagerness of the terminal operation is important concern in infinite streams because at the moment of processing we need to think carefully if our stream is properly bounded by. For example a limit transformation terminal operations are like for each two array reduce collect mean max count any match all match none match find first find any so most of the api we have already seen in the previous series of video tutorial so some of them are left so those things we will see in future video session as well so each of these operations will trigger execution of all intermediate operations so basically whenever you, you call this api then basically you are performing uh, terminal operations right so uh, so uh, i mean execution of uh, steam will be will be started when you call any of this api there are some more i mean terminal operations uh, methods are there so uh, here i have listed just important ones now in finite streams so now that we have we understand two concepts intermediate and terminal operations so we are able to write an infinite stream that leverage laziness of streams. Let's say that we want to create an infinite stream of elements from zero that will be incremented by two. Then we need to limit that sequence before calling terminal operation, right? It is crucial to use a limit method before executing a collect method that is a terminal operation. Otherwise our program will run indefinitely so here basically we are trying to create uh, uh, infinite stream by calling as there is a method iterate in a stream class so this is a static method directly you can call by the class name so stream dot it iterate right and iterate method just i want to start from zero and that we want to increment by two so this is basically infinite stream now here we have called a method limit on this infinite stream and limit we have given 10 and finally we are calling collect right collect method and collect is accepting a method like two list or two sets something like that which is available in the collector utility class so here starting from the zero and that will increment by every time two and that will give you the next 10 numbers right if you do not specify limit then this will execute the infinite number of times until unless you do not get the out of memory exception so let's open the eclipse and try to explore this example through an example so here uh, i will give the project name infinite stream api And let's create a class in package com dot infotech and method name I'm going to specify test and here what I'll try to do I'm going to create a stream a stream is a class which starts with capital letter stream and here I'm going to call a method is called iterate so we have a iterate method and here I want to start from 0 and I want to increment i every term by 2 okay so this will basically returns us stream of integer and we'll call so I would say trade and I trade I'm going to call limit and size I'm going to specify 10 again I'm going to collect I'm going to call collect and here we have a collectors in java.utility itself and here you have a two set or you can apply two list so here I'm going to apply two list and this guy will return us a list itself and if you try to iterate this list then you'll get 
for each and here you can system dot out and print ln so here we are passing the object of consumer and if you try to print it then look at it we got the starting from t at zero and increment every time by two so we got the first 10 numbers right because we have a specified limit as 10 over here so let me explain this code so basically here we have created a, a stream using the uh, iterate method then we call the limit transformation then we have called a limit transformation uh, and and a collect terminal operation so this is a collect terminal operation then it is our uh, resulting list right uh, we will have a first 10 elements of the infinite sequence due to the laziness of the stream right so uh, here basically that i wanted to tell you so these things we have uh, we have seen through an example so i do hope you understood what i wanted to explain over here and that's all i wanted to show in this video tutorial in next video tutorial we'll see some more concept about the infinite stream and that's all thanks for watching this video